But anyways, yeah, so I was talking with the, the Qigong master and it was a, it was a rather intense conversation. Whew. We were talking about like uh, ghosts and all sorts of stuff and spirits and uh, uh, this, this is interesting. He, he asked me if I wanted to be his student and he, he would take me on as his apprentice or, or whatever it is, you know, as a student, you know, he'd be the master and I'd be the student. And, uh, and uh, I, you know, I'd like to, but I, I can't because I don't have any free time. I, I said to him, you know, I, you know, I had little enough free time before and now that I have a baby, I have like next to none, you know, and I, I'd, I'd probably have to go there. Well, uh, it's, I, 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 I have nowhere near enough time to, 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 to learn what I need to learn. But, you know, but if, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll stay friends with this guy in the future. And maybe if in, you know, maybe in 10 years from now or something, my son could become his student. I think that would be much cooler for my son than um, going to school even, you know? Like, shit. Like, seriously, like, like Taiwan schools, Thai, like, Asian schools for the most part, and I'm generalizing here, so I'm sure there are some exceptions to the rule, but in general, they teach you, they force huge amounts of information into your brain, and almost none of it is useful. Like, they just force you to, it's all memorization, it's not, there's no creativity, they, they don't really help you to, to, you know, to reach your potential as they don't help you to develop your IQ so much. They just force you to memorize this, memorize this, memorize this. And then when you go to the test, you have to write it like this and you have to do this like this. They don't, there's no freedom of thought, right? That's, that's, that's Asian think, it's the Asian way of teach. Memorize, 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 and then regurgitate it when tested. You know, they don't, there's no, there's only one right answer for this question and you need to write it this way. You can't, there's no free thought. So, I don't really think that's something that I want for my son, so it'd be interesting if I could, like, maybe homeschool my son, or just, like, you know, maybe he just finishes elementary, and then that's it. No junior high, no high school. Instead, he becomes a full-time Qigong student, you know, if, if, but then, you know, but then there's the whole thing that I already said, like, will, there's a chance he won't have a knack for it, right? So... But the guy's my friend, he's not like a school, it's not like a Qigong school where they just want your money. He's my friend, so maybe he could test my son or something and see if it, whether or whether or not he does have a knack for it. And if he does have a knack for it, then that's, that's something I would want for him. That's, that's a useful skill. Like this guy's abilities are so amazing, like, I guess in Taiwan there are quite a few. In Asia there's a lot of Qigong masters around, so they don't charge very much. Uh, money to, 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 to see a patient but if he went to Canada or America he'd be able to charge some insane amount of money for each visit with, with, with a patient you know like something like you know like $400 for 20 minutes of his time something like that would totally be uh, reasonable and worth paying considering he can take like a, 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 a physical like a sports injury that you've had for years and fix it in minutes and that's it it's fixed you don't need to go back you don't need to do therapy you don't he just you go to him he pushes a few buttons and bam you're fixed it's just rather amazing so so yeah you know like it, it's, it's easily worth a few hundred dollars to get rid of an injury that you've had for years anyways uh, yeah so so yeah, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm hoping I stay friends with him, and I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, he was telling me. Oh, he he <laughs> he knows the guy, and you're not gonna believe this.